Hello students, hope you are doing well. I am Suryam, Assistant Professor, Department of Pharmaceutics, Vishnu Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research, Narsapur. Today, we are going to discuss about the HLB scale. This topic is from Physical Pharmaceutics 2. Let us start the concept. The HLB scale is invited by Sir Griffin in the year. 1949 so let us go into this topic so this hlb scale is invented by hlb scale invented by sir griffin in the year 1949 the major use of this HLB scale is is used to determine to determine the surface active agent surface active agents the surface active agents also known as surfactants to determine the nature of to determine the nature of the surface active agents so this nature of the surfactants will be two types hydrophilic in nature hydrophilic in nature and the second one is lipophilic In nature lipophilic in nature so this hydrophilic and lipophilic in nature so generally by using this HLB scale we can determine or we can know the surfactant belongs to either hydrophilic in nature or in lipophilic in nature so generally this hydrophilic and lipophilic is completely based on the nature itself so this coming to the hydrophilic and lipophilic of the surfactant so this will be the surfactant and this surfactant is consist of head portion and tail portion head portion and tail portion this is the hlb scale so this hlb scale is contains ranges from 1 to 20 ranges from 1 to 20 so in this 1 to 20 ranges the lower range lower range that is 1 to 10 1 to 10 always indicates lipophilic nature lipophilic nature and the higher range higher range of this HLB scale that is 10 to 20 this higher range is always indicates the hydrophilic nature hydrophilic nature okay so this lipophilic nature surfactants lipophilic surfactants lipophilic surfactants always always try to bind with bind with the oils or fats or lipids as well next next portion is hydrophilic portion hydrophilic portion this hydrophilic portion ranges from 10 to 20 this hydrophilic always binds with water molecule water molecule so as we discuss the structure of the surfactant this will be the structure of surfactant and as we all know that this is the head portion this is what head portion head portion 
and this is tail tail portion okay so always head portion is always tries to bind with water that is why it is named as hydrophilic in nature hydrophilic nature hydrophilic in nature and also known as lipophobic what is that lipophobic nature hydrophilic or lipophobic and the tail portion is refers to lipophilic lipophilic nature and this lipophilic portion or lipophilic nature is also known as hydrophobic hydrophobic but this lipophobic or hydrophilic means they will be known as water loving water loving that means oil hating oil hating whereas coming to this lipophilic in nature these are lipid loving or oil loving at the same time this is also known as water hating water hating okay say for example if we add a surfactant into a substance if you add a surfactant into a substance then what will happens is so if the surfactant or the substance is water substance so the head portion will goes together and they will form a boundary like structure that is called as micelle let us see so now we added this is the water sample and into this water we added some surfactant so now as we know surfactant is containing two portion hydrophilic and lipophilic portion so this is water molecule hence the head portion will comes to closer to this water molecule and they will be form a boundary like structure like this now this will be indicated as a boundary like structure in the same surfactant if added the same surfactant is added to oil portion say this is the oil portion and now what will happen since we are adding the surfactant to the oil portion then the surfactant the tail portion of the surfactant will attaches like this the tail portion will be attaches to the oil portion and here again we can observe the formation of the boundary the formation of the boundaries like this this is called as formation formation of micelles formation of micelle according to the hlb scale the ranges will divide the different type of surfactants as we can see in this diagram so first class of the surfactant is anti foaming agents anti foaming agents so this is the range of the anti foaming agents first class and from 3 to 8 from 3 to 8 this indicating water in oil type of emulsifiers and from 7 to 9 from 7 to 9 this portion indicates the third class this portion indicates wetting and spreading agents and similarly from 8 to 16 from 8 to 16 this indicates the fourth class of the surfactant that is oil in water type of emulsifier 
and then from 13 to 16 from 13 to 16 these are considered as detergents these are the detergents next from the 16 to the end from 16 to end from 16 to 20 from 16 to 20 this indicates solubilizers so first anti foaming agents 1 to 3 this is based on based on the range of based on the range of hlb scale based on range of hlb scale so first class 1 2 3 that indicates anti foaming agents anti foaming agents examples for anti foaming agents are castor oil cetyl steril alcohol next coming to second class that is the range in the scale is 3 to 8 this indicates water in oil type of emulsifier the example for this is diacetyl tartaric acid diacetyl tartaric acid and then the third class that is the range in the scale is 7 to 9 this 7 to 9 indicates wetting and spreading agents wetting and spreading agents example for this wetting and spreading agents are sls sodium lauryl sulfate sodium lauryl sulfate and then the fourth class of the range is that is 8 to 6 here this indicates the oil in water type of emulsifier oil in water type of emulsifier the example for oil in water type of emulsifier is sodium phosphate sodium phosphate and then similarly the fifth type of surfactant here is the range 13 to 16 this indicates detergents this indicates the detergent and example for the detergent is again sls and last class of this range is 16 to 20 16 to 20 that is solubilizing agents or solubilizer the examples of the solubilizer is sorbates sorbates monosorbate class and polysorbate this is about the different types of surfactant which can be determined by the range of hlb scale as we know the hlb scale is ranged in between 1 to 20 so generally in this the first 1 to 10 this range indicates lipophilic and then 10 to 20 range on the scale that indicates hydrophilic in nature surfactants next determination of hlb scale so the hlb scale value can be determined by different methods here we will be having two different methods method one and method two so in these two methods we can determine the hlb scale so determination of determination of hlb value determination of hlb value so in that the first method first method we can use the formula that is hlb is equals to e plus p divided by 5 e plus p divided by 5 where 
E stands for percentage weight by weight ethylene oxide and P polyhydric alcohol group polyhydric alcohol group this is the method one and second method the second method this method is also known as saponification saponification method saponification method the second method is also known as saponification method in this saponification method we need to go for the hydrolysis of a particular substances which we can we need to know the hlb value so in this method the hlb will be calculated by this formula that is hlb is equals to 20 into 1 minus s by a by using this formula we can calculate the hlb value of the given substance so in this what is s s is saponification s is the saponification value H S is saponification value and A is acid value. In this, in the above second formula, we discussed about the saponification and we discussed about saponification and the acid value. So, what is saponification? First thing, saponification, saponification. The amount. that requires that requires to neutralize the fatty acids this is known as saponification the amount of the koh the amount of koh that requires to neutralize saponification method in this we can get the s value and coming to the acid value this indicates the purity of the purity of acids which we used in the hydrolysis or neutralization process neutralization process next by above two different methods we determine the hlb value and coming to the applications of hlb scale so there are a lot of applications are there in the hlb scale by knowing the surfactant which whether it is belongs to hydrophilic or in belongs to lipophilic in nature we can manufacture or we can uh, prepare different type of doses forms so the application the major applications of this hlb scale applications of hlb scale applications of hlb scale majorly the hlb scale is used in cosmetic industry cosmetic industries to prepare creams lotions and other cosmetic product other cosmetic products the major application of this hlb scale is to determine to determine the nature of to determine the nature of surfactant determine the nature of surfactant whether it is hydrophilic in nature or it is lipophilic in nature this will be determined by the hlb scale itself next limitations of the hlb scale here of course we will be having some 
limitations of HLB scale. So where this HLB scale is failed to prove some things. As we know that as the all emulsions and their stability, their stability will be affected by the temperature but why this temperature is going to be affected the stability of the emulsion not only emulsions major of the pharmaceutical products will be affected by the temperature but this HLB concept is not able to find the proper reasons why the temperature is majorly affecting the second limitation here is unable to define the complex formations of a substance by using multiple multiple surfactants and majorly it's failed to it's failed to explain the concentration of the concentration of the surfactant the concentration of the surfactant so these are the limitations of the HLB scales and applications of the HLB scale as well so dear students hope you understood thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates